Welcome again. Third video today for me. I'm going to roll. This is going to be a benchmark video for the Samsung Galaxy S3, and we're going to go straight into it with Nenomark 1. I'm going to keep the sound on so you've got something to listen to. I'll turn it down a little bit. This isn't a very intensive test. That's why we've got Nenomark 2 will be running in a bit, which is more for high end. This is for more low end devices. But it still gives you a good indication of how many frames per second can be pulled off on this this uh, this phone. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. And there we go, 59.8 frames per second. We'll publish that. And let's browse results. Okay, let's go on the internet. Let's have a look at how good that result is. The screen banding you're seeing isn't actually on the screen. It's a video artifact, which isn't isn't great, but we can live with it. Oh, and there's my score there. You can see the 58.29, the highest ever result, is there, 85. Point one seven, which is with a developer device, I'm guessing. Tegra three, but um, it's a very good score on a twelve eighty by seven twenty resolution phone. Okay, let's go to the next one, which will be Nenomark two. I'm back into landscape, and this is a slightly more taxing test than Nenomark one. You can see it's got more. Like different light effects, rippling effects on the water, slightly more animations, transparency in the cloud has got a render for, it's pretty good. And I have to tell you, the, uh, the, the green that you're seeing here is much more green on the Galaxy S3 screen, but you're probably watching this on an LCD screen, I'm guessing. And there you go, 58.7. Very nice, again. And there you go, there's the score. Beats the Galaxy S2, Transformer Prime, all the rest of them. Very, very high score. Very nice. Good job, Samsung. Okay, and now back out to full view. Next one is a GPS test. And uh, I have to tell you straight off the bat, Around where I am, especially indoors here, very, very, very poor GPS signal. On the Galaxy Nexus, I couldn't even get a signal at all. Um, and here, I tried this a little while ago, and it's actually like really good. You get a lot of satellites really quickly. The GPS turned on. I hope it doesn't play up for me now. That'll be embarrassing. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. We got some. GPS on, you can see. Shows the altitude, the speed you're currently going, the time where I am. Eight satellites in use. There you go, in view ten, in nine, in use nine. Very good, very good, very good. A lot better than the Galaxy Nexus. Next, um, I'm not going to do dead pixel test because I've already tried it. That's why I got rid of the last one. This is the second GS3. If you didn't know already. Um, Go to Limpack. We'll do a single thread. Um, Limpack's been playing up a bit for me. It's been doing inconsistent results on the precision. But we have got 56 there. We'll do three on each. 56.3 again. 56.9 there. It's not a very um, good representation. Limpack really. Let me zoom in for you. Hundred and sixty nine on the multi thread. 123, you can see what I mean, it's not consistent at all, 109, yeah, 176, I mean, it's not it's not a very good benchmark, to be honest, anymore. It used to be on the single core devices, but now it hasn't been updated for years, I don't think. We'll go to Quadrant Standard, which is obviously the benchmark that everyone talks about. And uh, I would do what some other people do, and just uh, let it film, speed it up for you on editing, but I am a lazy bastard. And secondly, I mean, I could edit it, I suppose, but the uh, problem is, 
my MacBook Pro is getting slower and slower by the day and uh, it struggles just opening iPhoto, it doesn't even open iVideo sometimes. iVideo? Movie, whatever it's called, the video editing thing on uh, Mac OS. But I'm, I'm going to get a new PC in the next couple of weeks, so I shall probably start editing things properly then. Until then, just put up with it I suppose. There we go. And we get a score of 5566. Five, six. Very, very good. Much better, better than the 1X, Transformer Prime, Atrix 4G, Galaxy Nexus, 2X, RHD, etc. Again, you know, that's it's, it is the top, top device out there at the moment. And finally, we're going to do Antutu. This is quite a long one. So I do apologise having to make you all suffer and watch through this. Oh, no you don't because I've already run the test so I'm not going to bother running it again. That's what I got anyway. 12113. I've seen Galaxy, Next, uh, Galaxy S3s get higher than that. Top result is of the Galaxy S3. Someone in Spain has managed to overclock it to 1700 MHz. Very nice, very nice. So uh, yeah, it's a very, very good device. Um, thanks for watching. That was the uh, benchmark test on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And I'll see you next time.